Good morning. It is Thursday, August 1st, 2019. I'm the music teacher at RHS, and I'm going to try to document my school year with a video every day, even if it has nothing to say. Um, I've had band camp this week, starting Monday. Uh, it's just for one week. All right, I'm in school. I uh, just got here a little early today. I have to unlock the band room so the band can get in for band camp while I have to go to new teacher orientation. I was hired late last year, so I missed it. So even though I spent basically a whole year here, I have to go to new teacher orientation. So that's four days. Today is day one. Thursday, August 1st. So I'm going to go in, set up the band room for the kids. Um, I don't know if you guys have realized this, but band kids are generally the honest, trustworthy, responsible, disciplined students on campus. And I have no hesitation about leaving the room unlocked and letting them in there by themselves because I know that they will be responsible and I don't have to worry about things. And then, you know, during the orientation today, at noon, I'll just come back to the campus and uh, lock it up. So, first day of orientation, new teacher. Ah! Even though I've been teaching since 95. Well, that's how things go. Gotta play the game gotta jump through the hoops and learn all the new things here's a clue for uh, all of you teachers out there and newbies out there have a toothpaste and toothbrush in your classroom for those mornings when you leave the house in a hurry and don't have time to brush your teeth you can do it in your classroom most classrooms have a sink if not hey staff restroom stay clean stay healthy Here's another tip for um, classroom management for new teachers. Always have at least one roll of paper towels because if you have a sink in your classroom, you probably also have a paper towel dispenser, but you know what? That's gonna run out. Because you know, students and teachers like to use paper towels when they when they wash their hands or brush their teeth or whatever they're doing. So it's good to have paper towels on hand in your classroom. Okay, I seem to be on a bit of a kick here. So um, something else you should have in your classroom, of course, is um, something for headaches, muscle aches, etc., etc. because yes, they're inevitable. And for those days when you just feel like Maybe I should have stayed home because I feel sick. It's always good to have some uh, Dayquil in your classroom. You know, one gulp of this might be all you need to get through the day when you're feeling a little under the weather. I have been sent to HR to get a new campus pass, district pass badge for the year. I said, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, should I wait? They said, you don't get a new photo, just a new badge. I said, but last year's photo's terrible. Dang it, I gave in to temptation. At the new teacher orientation in the morning, which was pretty much a waste of time, I had a cinnamon roll <sighs> and some coffee cake. There is a little bit of confusion as to where the next meeting is going to be. The first meeting that I attended at eight was at the district office for new teachers and it was basically a few administrators introduced themselves, nobody from my campus, and teachers. There were about 30 new hires, and uh, we got a little goodie bag with some stuff in it, and uh, 
the next meeting is at 9.30 uh, at the school sites, and I was told by our secretary at the high school that it was gonna be in the student center. So I went over there, and there really is not, there's no room for a very large meeting over there. But one of the counselors was in, so I asked him, I said, is the new teacher orientation gonna be here? And they said, no, it's gonna be the library. So I'm in the library, and I'm just gonna camp out here for a few minutes and see if people come here. And if they don't come here, I'll go back to the student center. We'll see how it goes. You know, that's the way we do it. So um, I was able to skip part of the uh, new teacher orientation on my campus because I already had my keys and I already had my laptop, so I didn't have to go to that. Uh, I already have my email account, blah, 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 blah. But I had to go to a one o'clock, which is what I'm going to next, to meet with a special ed uh, director to brief us on IEPs and 504s and what to do with uh, students in our classrooms that are special ed, that they're mainstreaming, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I've dealt with that for a long time. So it should be a uh, walk in the park again. But I didn't, I didn't, I got out of my uh, last meeting early, as I mentioned, but I did not go to band camp to work with the kids because I'd already set it up so my drum major was in charge today. She was totally in charge of the marching section of the day and she was totally in charge of the music rehearsal. And I didn't want it like encroach on her because she's building leadership skills and she's building a leadership presence and authority. And so I just wanted to let her be and not interrupt or be in the room even. So I took an early, which turned out to be a longer lunch break than I would normally get. So um, I'm back now at the district office ready to go uh, interface with the special ed department. And I think after that I'm done. So I'm going to work in my classroom after that. Check in later. So as it turns out, the meeting with the special ed department was only just for special ed teachers. So I get to go to my classroom and I get more time to work in the band room. Excited about that. I'm eating a raw pickle. Otherwise known as a cucumber. You can tell there's absolute zero editing in this video. This is raw, uncensored, real life. Wind in the microphone type editing. I mean, like a minute. So here's a recap of my day. Um, today is uh, Thursday, August 1st, 2019, day th three, four, day four of band camp. But I did not participate in band camp because I had day one of new teacher orientation. And uh, I had to go to that because I was hired late last year. So I, you know, blah, 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 blah. I didn't get to an or, or a new teacher orientation last year. So I have to go this year. And then, uh, but I was able to skip out on part of it um, because I already had a laptop and I already had my email accounts and blah, blah, blah. And so I had a long lunch break and I ate off campus today. And uh, after band camp was done, I thought I had to go to a meeting with special ed people, but I didn't have to go after all, so I didn't go. So I got more time to work in my band room. Uh, my project this summer has been rehabilitating the music library. And so I was working on that all afternoon, just filing music. There's just a 
ton. Okay, maybe not a literal ton, but there's a figurative ton of music that is just loose in boxes. And a lot of it is kids that didn't turn in their music when they were supposed to, and so they just dump everything in a box at the end of the school year. And oh gosh, sorting it out, putting it in boxes. I don't have boxes for everything. I use the file finder system from JW Pepper. And that's a great system to use for storing and organizing your sheet music for band and choir. And my plan is to, sometime tonight, upload this to YouTube. So uh, maybe if I do, I'll remember to do this every day and have a daily journal of my second year at RHS as the band teacher, music teacher. So. Okay. Okay, so on the way home, I'm stopping at Lowe's because uh, one of the bookshelves I bought for my music library, I, I stacked the, the small format file finder boxes, like for, for field music, for parade music, you know, the small format boxes on those shelves. And all the shelves that came with the bookcase, it's a double-sided bookcase, seven feet tall, but they all got used up on one half of the bookcase. So I took measurements and I'm going into Lowe's. I'm gonna find out if they can cut some wood for me for these shelves. I don't think they can. I think I'm gonna to have to buy a sheet of plywood and I think they like to, will do one cut free or maybe two cuts free. Maybe 50 cents a cut after that. I don't know, but I might have to go home and do it myself. And I'm not looking forward to that because I'm really, I'm really tired. It just occurred to me that uh, you may not be getting audio because it's connected. My phone is connected to my little Bluetooth speaker. I don't know if you're even getting audio on this. But uh, anyway, I was a long time in Lowe's. Um, I had to pick the right sheet of plywood. You know, I got a little counseling on that. And then uh, I said, well, can you cut it? What is it, 50 cents cut? He said, no, cuts are free. I said, oh, that's great, thank you. So I had him cut to my specifications. But as I'm uh, taking it out to the truck, I noticed that some of the pieces, half the pieces are not the same size as the other half. So I go, oh, dang it. So I went back in, I went back to the cutter. He was still back there, the same fella, Jose, back there with another customer. And he kind of looked at me like, what? And I said, um, you cut some wrong. And uh, some of them were 21 and a quarter long which is what I prescribed, but half of them were 20 and a quarter long. So fortunately that only took up half the sheet of plywood. So I had plenty left over so he could cut some more shelves at the proper length. The width was fine, the depth, nine and a quarter. They were all fine, but it was the 20 and a quarter versus 21 and a quarter. Anyway, um, did I explain why I was getting shelves made? about the bookcase and running on the shelves and all this stuff. So tomorrow I can do more uh, work in the, in the music library because I'll have shelves for the boxes, the file finder boxes. All right, let's go home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs>